Hello. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can take your image, your photo, and transform it to posterize it and manipulate the colors into something that's going to be a lot easier to be able to paint from, okay, and a little more vibrant. So I do have the written instructions that are available. Um, I link them in your calendar and I link them on summits. Um, and I even have them right in front of me. Um, so you can follow along with that as well, or you can just watch the video and do it with me. So it says, number one, we are going to open a new document in Adobe Photoshop. Make sure that you've opened Adobe Photoshop before the proper way. I have a different video on how to do that. You only have to do that the first time. Um, and so I'm gonna go ahead and go to File, New. And we are going to be using the letter size. So that's eight and a half by 11. So make sure you're clicked on that. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a name. So I like to call these sprinkle clips. And uh, make sure your orientation is set correctly. So my image is portrait, so I'm already good. But if it was landscape, I would switch it to landscape. Everything else defaults usually just like this. And it should open up a blank white document. And then number two, it says to paste, um, copy and paste your image into the blank Photoshop document. So to be able to do this, you need to actually pull up your image that you've uploaded to your computer. Here it is. Make sure you're not copying and pasting from the thumbnail because it won't switch over. So I physically pulled up that. I'm gonna right click and copy it. And then I can either go to edit, paste, or everything in Photoshop has a shortcut which I kind of like and you will hopefully get used to. Um, so control V, we'll just paste it right in, done. Number three says adjust the size of the image to match the document. So to do this, um, I need to be able to physically move this. Now it should default to our move tool, but if it doesn't move, go up here, you see these little four arrows, that's the move tool, or shortcut V, so I'm already there, and I like to place it in that upper left-hand corner. Then I need to stretch it so that it fills this entire document, because I don't just want a little version when I print it out. It won't let me just automatically stretch it. Um, I have to use a tool called Free Transform to do that. So I can either go to Edit, and then come down to Free Transform, or you can see there's a shortcut, Control-T. So I'm gonna Control-T, and then it gives me the little um, boxes on each corner to be able to move it. Now, if you're worried about stretching it too much, you can hold down shift and then you can pull it out to make sure it doesn't stretch. When you have it just the way you like it, you're going to click that little check mark up here and then you are done with that. You'll notice while you're doing the free transform, it will get a little blurry. That's fine. Once you give it the check mark, um, it should go back to our normal pixelation. So next, number four, we are going to actually start manipulating this image. Um, all, that, all of those photo editing and manipulation tools are gonna be under image adjustments. So you can play with the brightness and contrast, um, or I'm just going to play with the hue saturation because my, my image isn't too dark, but it is kind of dull. So I'm going to saturate it a little bit. And that's just going to make it a little more vibrant. I like to exaggerate the saturation when I'm going to paint something most of the time. Click OK. And then finally, I get to posterize the image. So that's in the same spot. I'm gonna go to image adjustments and then posterize. And it's going to give you this little slider and um, some levels. So the idea with posterize is you want to be able to see the definition between each of the different colors, as opposed to just having like a nice clear fade over shadows and from one um, from one color to the next, it now separates it into these little individual parts. But 
you don't want to separate it so much that you start to lose things. So if you look back here, right now it's so posterized that the back part of um, the almond bark on these cookies is completely fading into the background. So I don't want that. I want that balance of being able to see the different individual colors, but still have the bulk of the detail. So I'm going to pull it up a little bit. Notice if I go too far, now it doesn't really look posterized at all. So usually somewhere between five and like 13 works. I think I'm going to go with right here. 10 looks pretty good. I can see those individual areas, um, but I haven't lost very much detail. And I'm going to click OK. Okay, so now I've done the bulk of the work. I just need to save it. And then we're going to be printing these in class. And um, so I'll show you how to do that. But I want to make sure I go to file. I'm going to save it twice. So I'm going to just save it as a normal Photoshop document. Um, I like to use OneDrive. So if your computer's running slow, you should have a little more space on there. Um, and make sure you have a folder for painting. And so I can save there. I also like to save it as a JPEG, which is just an image, so I can quickly open that up and copy and paste it um, into anything I need. So here's a JPEG, and then I would save it there, which I've already done. Okay, um, if you have any questions, make sure to let me know. We will print these off in class, and so you'll end up with a couple of these. Um, you will have one that we'll use for a transfer and then one that you will just keep with you to use as your reference photo. And I will see you then. Have a great day.